the movement called Antifa, has managed to get an entire parade and carnival cancelled in Portland after they threatened to rush and attack members of the Multnomah County Republicans who were going to be in the parade. This was supposed to be the annual 82nd Avenue Rose Parade and Carnival which was scheduled to be held for Saturday, however it was cancelled due to the treats against the Multnomah County Republican Party. The Multnomah County Republican Party is a long-time participant in the parade and in an email from the Business Association, which sponsors the Rose Festival sanctioned event, said it cancelled the entire event because could not guarantee the safety of the community. We are deeply disappointed that the agendas of these outside groups have so regrettably impacted our community, said the email press release. This is shameful. This volunteer-driven event highlights the progress being made in East Portland. The losers are the working families in East Portland who enjoy the parade and carnival, says Commission Dick Fish. We are very saddened by this. It's very sad that this would happen to an innocent neighborhood event like this, says Rose Festival spokesman Rick Jarvis. The email did not detail the threat, and the Portland Tribune could not immediately reach the association for comment. But Cohen 6 News reported the event was cancelled after Direct Action Alliance created a Facebook event called Defend Portland from Fascists at the Avenue of Roses Parade. The group wanted to disrupt the march because of Nazis and fascists participating. The fascists know that will keep shutting their marches down, the Facebook event states. They are now planning to march within other parades to protect their message of hate and white supremacy, it won't work. In a separate Tuesday email, the Multnomah County Republican Party said the threat related to its participation in the parade. According to the party's email, parade organizers had received an email threat warning from anarchists that said unless their registration is revoked, 200 or more people will rush into the parade into the middle and drag and push those people out. The road to fascism begins with armed gangs of thugs using violence to shut down opposing points of view. The question now is whether the city of Portland will be complicit in such conduct. We hope the city's new leadership has the courage to respond to these threats appropriately, said MCRP Chair James Buckle, who noted the party had participated in the parade for years. According to the party, the threatening email also says, You have seen how much power we have downtown and that the police cannot stop us. The email came from RiseUp.net. An anonymous reply to a Portland Tribune request for comment said the threat of violence came from Facebook postings by Republican Party supporters in response to the demonstration announcement. These people are not good they are right-wing extremists and they are dangerous and that is why they deserve absolutely no space at a family-friendly event, the reply said. If you like this video, please remember to click the like and the share buttons. If you're new to the channel please remember to click on the subscribe button.